it's going to change how people live in their homes, the size of their home, the size of their car. Uh, it's, it's going to have an effect uh, really across the board. Just some of the effects of $5 a gallon gas. That tops tonight's Your Money, Your Business. Here is News Channel 8 and Portland Business Journal reporter Joe Smith. Joe, say it ain't so. I wish I could. Well, you know, while most records are meant to be broken, when it comes to oil and gas, it's something we could live without. Couldn't live without, but it's the oil and gas that we can't live without. And that, in part, is causing record-breaking prices. Today, oil surged above $143 a barrel. It has some energy experts predicting $5 a gallon gas by Labor Day. A crude awakening for everyone. I think this is the first receipt I've seen over 80. But for Carol Little, it won't be the last. More record-breaking prices for crude oil Monday will eventually make it to the corner gas station. It wouldn't be out of the realm of possibility at all to see a $5 price at the pump. Some believe as soon as Labor Day. Energy analyst Mark Crawl with Ferguson Wellman Capital Management says global demand, a weak dollar, and geopolitical forces are to blame. With saber rattling by Iran and Israel, uh, that causes the prices to go up pretty sharply. Now at $4 plus a gallon, many people have started to make lifestyle changes. For the summer term, I signed up for all online classes so I don't have to drive to school. But at $5 a gallon, it will mean even deeper sacrifices with less discretionary income. I think it's a really a life ultra, if you see what I mean. Already, it's having an impact on summer travel. I try to work around it by using public transit and bicycling. AAA reports July 4th trips by car will drop 1.3 percent and air travel will drop by 2.3 percent from a year ago. Higher prices are already having a psychological impact. We're going to have to figure out a way to get along with that oil and we'll finally maybe hit the tipping point. A tipping point that some believe will push the sluggish economy into recession. We account for about 25 percent of global oil demand. So if our demand completely collapses, it will definitely have an effect on prices. But still others believe until gas reaches $6 a gallon or more, we won't put on the brakes. People, and particularly politicians, uh, corporations, really won't feel the urgency to do something in terms of serious efforts towards alternative energies and conservation.